Today, I'll show you how to restore an old picture in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link for this image in the video description. So there's a few things that we need to fix about this photo. Right off the bat, we can see that this image is super faded, so we definitely need to fix the lighting. In addition to that, we have quite a few blemishes throughout this photo, especially on the edges. So let's start by addressing the blemishes. For edge blemishes like this, the easiest thing to do is just to crop the image in. So I'm going to grab the crop tool. Then I'll drag in each of the edges until you can't see those edge blemishes anymore. Then go ahead and apply the crop. Next, let's take care of the blemishes that we couldn't crop out. First, apply a new pixel layer. Then select the inpainting brush tool. Make sure to set your brush to current layer and below. And then all you need to do is zoom in and paint along each of the blemishes to remove them. I like to make my brush about the same size as the blemish so that I can easily paint over just the part that needs to be removed. Go ahead and use the bracket keys on your keyboard to adjust the size of your brush. Now this process takes some time, but I promise that the end result will be worth it. I have more advanced techniques for removing tears and scratches like this in my restoration course. And in that restoration course, I also cover powerful methods to enhance the lighting and the colors. I'll leave a link to that course in the video description if you want to check that out. Alright, so here's how this is looking. Here's the before, and here's the after. So this already looks improved, but this next step will really take it to the next level. Let's fix the lighting. I'll go down to the adjustments, and then I'm going to apply a levels adjustment. The levels adjustment allows us to alter the darkness and lightness of the image, and this image definitely needs some added contrast. So first, starting with the black level slider, I'm going to bring this over quite a bit so that we can really darken the shadows. Then to counteract some of the darkness, I'm going to lower the white level to bring back some of the bright highlights. If you want, you can also adjust this gamma slider. You can make the whole image brighter or the whole image darker. I think I'll just make it a little bit lighter. And with that, you can really see how much detail we've brought back. Here's the before, and here's the after. It just looks so much better. Now, I think I want to do a little bit more brightening, so I'm going to add one more adjustment layer, this time the brightness and contrast adjustment. Then I'm going to increase the brightness, and I'll also increase the contrast. All right, this is looking really good. Now that the lighting and the blemishes are taken care of, our last step is to fix the colors. As you can see, we have a bit of a greenish yellow color cast going over this image. I'm going to completely remove this color cast by removing the saturation. So I'll go to our adjustments and I'll apply an HSL adjustment. Then I'll take the saturation slider and bring it all the way down. So now the image is purely black and white. There's no extra colors there. To bring back a little bit of the warmth, I'm going to add a lens filter. And then we can manually decide how much warmth we want added to this image. I'll just lower this a bit. And now you can see how much better those colors look. Here's the before, and here's the after of those colors. 
And there we have it. We've now completely turned this faded image around. To learn more about photo restoration, you can check out my course to see more amazing edits like this. We learned everything from restoring damaged photos that have tears and blemishes, to restoring color issues that old pictures sometimes have. In this course, we even learn how to colorize black and white photos. You can learn all that and more in the course. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the course.